Dear viewers, welcome to Nursat Satellite Station and Telelumir TV. Let's start with the headlines. His Majesty the King assured the Tawjihi students the necessity of choosing suitable majors for the labor market. Re-inauguration of the Melkite Greek Catholic Church of St. Joseph in Ashrafiyya. Sister Sara Ghnim is the new president of the Congregational Orders in Jordan. We also have the Jordanian House of Representatives approved the establishment of the foundation for the development of the lands adjacent to the baptism site. Welcome back. Within the framework of his weekly Christian teachings, and he has habitually does every week, His Holiness Pope Francis welcomed the believers coming from all over the world, where he contemplated and said, Most Holy Father, the English-speaking faithful wish to express to you their sentiments of respect and esteem, and to assure you of their prayers for your ministry as the successor of Peter. At the end of the audience, we will sing together the Our Father in Latin, the Holy Father will then impart his apostolic blessing, which he willingly extends to all children and young people, the elderly and the sick. The Holy Father also intends to bless any religious articles you may have brought for this purpose. The following is a summary of the Holy Father's words this morning. Dear brothers and sisters, in our continuing catechesis on St. Paul's letter to the Galatians, we have seen how the apostle insists on the newness of life in Christ, which sets Christians free from a religiosity based solely on the scrupulous observance of precepts. Paul reminds the Galatians of the saving grace they received through faith in the gospel message of Christ's death and resurrection and their experience of the outpouring of the Holy Spirit in their midst. Paul, likewise, points to his personal experience of the grace and freedom brought by faith in the crucified Jesus. It is no longer I who live, but it is Christ who lives in me, and the life I live now, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. In addressing the Galatians, the apostle also speaks to us. He invites each of us to rejoice in the righteousness we have received through faith in Christ and to bear convincing witness to God's merciful love in the way we live our daily lives. His Majesty King Abdullah II, in the presence of Her Majesty Queen Rani al-Abdullah, honored the high school graduates. His Majesty congratulated the students who excelled on their honorable results despite the fact that the circumstances was not easy due to the corona pandemic considering that they represent a role model for the youth of the country. His Majesty emphasized on the importance of choosing majors that suits the labor market. His Majesty thanked the students' families and teachers for their great efforts for the continuation of the educational process despite the corona crisis. We draw the attention of the viewers to the fact that Sabah Kum Noor program has devoted this week's episode to the same topic. His Eminence, Archbishop Christophorus Atalla, Greek Orthodox Metropolitan in Jordan, met at the diocese's house in Amman with an official delegation from the Middle East University in the presence of the Director General of the Patriarchal Schools, Ms. Lean Danat. During the meeting in which Mr. Aysar Nimri, the Director of the Department of Information and Public Relations, and Ms. Esther Twal from the Deanship of International Programs at the University participated in, a discussion took place of ways of cooperation and coordination between the archdiocese, the university, and the schools of the Patriarchate, and working on transferring the successful experience of the university with the students by holding training programs for teachers, in addition to providing educational opportunities for students of the Patriarchate schools. On the occasion of the inauguration of the Melkite Greek Catholic Church of St. Joseph in Ashrafiyya Amman and the passing of 25 years for the priesthood of Father John Haddad, pastor of the church, a divine liturgy was held, presided over by His Eminence, Archbishop Joseph Jbara, Archbishop of Petra, Philadelphia, and the rest of East Jordan, where Father John was promoted to the rank of Stavrophorus, and he was awarded the Holy Cross. The Mass was attended by Fathers Hikmat Haddadin, Khalid Shaban, Nadir Sawuq, and Bassam Shahatit, as well as their representatives Omar al-Nabir and Hayal Ayyash, 
and the crowd of parishioners and the family and friends of Father Haddad. A fifth Jordanian plane has arrived in Lebanon carrying food and medical aid to Beirut. According to Lebanese sources, this plane comes within a relief air bridge run by the Jordanian Hashemite Charitable Organization and carries on board aid and humanitarian materials, most notably flour, after the wheat silos in Beirut port were damaged. The Hashemite Commission, under the directives of His Majesty King Abdullah II, has sent, during the past few days, four planes carrying medicines and medical supplies to help the brotherly Lebanese people. The Carmelite Order in the Holy Land celebrated the feast of St. Mary of Jesus, the Crucified. His Beatitude Per Pedista Bitsabella, Latin Patriarch of Jerusalem, presided over the celebration of this feast in the orchard tent of the Carmel Monastery in Bethlehem. More in the report of our representative in the Holy Land, Marlene Hadwe. بمناسبة عيد القديسة مريم ليسوع المصلوب. On the occasion of the feast of Saint Mary of Jesus the Crucified, a festive mass was held in the courtyards of the Carmel Church in Bethlehem, presided over by His Beatitude Patriarch Pierre Battista Pizpala, Latin Patriarch of Jerusalem, and with the assistance of Archbishop Marcuzzo, a group of priests, and in the presence of a number of Carmelite nuns and Rosary Sisters and the Sisters of Joseph. The Mass began with the entry of the procession amidst the hymns of the chanter Rabab Zaytun and the musician Luay Zahir and in the presence of a crowd of believers. In the Patriarch's sermon, who summarized the life of St. Mary, that her life was difficult in the beginning, as it was full of obstacles and endless rejection, but she insisted that she completed her journey and her life to follow God's plan for her. For this was the will of the Lord to be in the heart of the Church. The saint gives us a message with all these difficulties that the world is going through, such as diseases, hunger and pain, where she tells us, when you are in temptation, kneel down, prostrate before the Lord wherever you are, and say in your heart, O Lord, I disbelieve in Satan and his deeds, and I only want you and your Holy Spirit. Then you will be victorious over these horrors. After the concluding blessing was given, everyone went to the monastery garden where the reception and congratulations were given to the Carmelite nuns. We are celebrating today here in Bethlehem the feast of um, Mariam Bawardi. We all love her because she was a daughter of this land, of Palestine, a Palestinian, and also a daughter of Christ. And, uh, and this makes her an example for all of us how to live here as Christians, as a Palestinian Christian here in this land, and she's a, a remain an example of stubbornness in God. <laughs> In the Jesuit Center in Amman, Sister Sara Ghnim was elected as the new president of the Congregation of Monastic Orders in Jordan, in the presence of the Latin Patriarchal Vicar, Bishop William Shomali, and the General Guide of the Congregation of Monasteries in Jordan, Father Rashid Mistari, and a number of superiors from different monastic institutions. Sister Cecile Hjazin was elected as the new Secretary of the Union, and Sister Maysoon Rihani as the new representative of the Union. On the other hand, his beatitude patriarch Pierre Battista Pizzabella, Latin Patriarch of Jerusalem, congratulated Mother Sophie Hattar on her election as General Superintendent of the Rosary Congregation. Mother Hattar also received in the Presidency Monastery in Jerusalem His Excellency Bishop Hanna Atallah from the Orthodox Church. His Eminence congratulated her on this occasion and gifted her the icon of the Blessed Virgin Mary of Jerusalem. The visit was concluded with prayer and granting the blessing to the general president and the nuns. Mother Sophie Hattar also received delegations of well-wishers from various ecclesiastical sectors and religious and academic institutions. 
Dr. Basima Sam'an, Director of Office of Nursat Satellite Channel in Jordan, gave a lecture at the Roman Catholic Diocese in Amman entitled Media and its Message in Society and addressed in the lecture that was attended by the Congregation of Permanent Aid of the Parish of St. George's, local programs and ecclesiastical activities with her keenness to spread love, tolerance and positivity in our human life related to the teachings of the Lord Christ. Dr. Sam'an called in her lecture to the necessity of applying and practicing these teachings in our real life. After his recent participation in the Cooperation and Partnership Conference in Baghdad, French President Macron visited the Church of the Hour in the city of Mosul and heard from the Metropolitan of Mosul, Dawood Matta, about the brutality and crimes of ISIS in Iraq and the story of its destruction of this church, whose construction dates back to a thousand years where the church still suffers extensive destruction after years of battles to defeat ISIS, in addition to burning of heritage manuscripts dating back to the first centuries AD. Macaron said during his presence in the church that this country will maintain a presence in Iraq to combat terrorism, calling on Christians to maintain perseverance and steadfastness in their homelands. This and UNESCO is working on the reconstruction of the Church of the Hour as part of the project to restore life in Mosul. On the other hand, the Chaldean Patriarchate announced that his Beatitude Patriarch Rafael Sacco participated in a discussion session on rejecting extremism, and it was stated on the official website of the Patriarchate that Patriarch Sacco, accompanied by his assistant Metropolitan Basilios, participated in the discussion session held by the Al-Nahrain Center for Strategic Studies in Baghdad to discuss the topic violent extremism leading to terrorism. She indicated that the discussion session was exemplary in the presence of a delegation from the Saudi Moderation Center and representatives of Iraqi national security and religious, political and academic figures specialized in this field. The Jordanian House of Representatives approved the establishment of the foundation for the development of lands adjacent to the baptism site. This non-profit organization has a legal status with financial and administrative independence. On the other hand, the municipality of Middel Shune, in cooperation with the Joint Services Council and the Ministries of Agriculture and Public Works, has started a wide campaign to clean the Dead Sea and baptism site streets. This campaign came on the basis of government instructions and recommendations of the necessity of advancing and paying attention to the area close to the tourist projects and the site of the baptism of the Christ. Because this area is a suitable and attractive environment for tourism investments, especially since the baptism and the Dead Sea areas are visited by thousands of tourists on a daily basis, which requires presenting those areas beautifully. Last Wednesday, the last phase of the government's plan to open the sectors and achieve a safe summer entered into force, as the plan includes the return of most aspects of normal life and the abolition of the curfew in all its forms. In these institutions, the vaccine against the coronavirus is required and also requires adherence to the approval health protocol. This stage also allows the return of work of all sectors at all times and with their full operation capacity. In the same context, last Wednesday, 2,145,000 students in the kingdom returned to schools for the new academic year, distributed among 7,500 public and private schools. Here, dear viewers, we have come to the end of our news. And those were the headlines. His Majesty the King assures the Tawjihi students the necessity of choosing suitable measures for the labor market. Re-inauguration of the Malkite Greek Catholic Church of St. Joseph in Ashrafiyyah. Sister Sarah Neem is the new president of the Congregation Orders in Jordan. The Jordanian House of Representatives approved the establishment of the foundation for the development of lands adjacent to the baptism site. For more details, please visit our website www.nursadjo.org. Thank you for watching. Until we meet again, have a good day.